what is up YouTube and welcome back to another video in this one we're gonna be pretty much installing a heat wrap shield on my Yamaha YFZ 450's exhaust system so yeah pr right now we're gonna be uninstalling the exhaust system I'm gonna be taking y'all through the step-by-step -step process of me installing the heat wrap and yeah let's get to it all right so the first thing that we want to start off with I'm not really sure if y'all can see under here but we're gonna be taking off this bolt right here so that we could take off the first part of the exhaust all right we got the first one out just set that one to the side and the exhaust is as easy as that it literally just slides straight out so we'll set that down right here and then we're gonna get over here to the front side of the exhaust because pretty much the only place where I wanna put the heat shield or the heat wrap is on this part of the exhaust. I don't really wanna put it in the back side because that part doesn't really touch my leg or is anywhere around my leg, but this part right here is where I really wanna get all this off or at least get it protected from my leg. Oh, God damn it. Got the first one out. <clears throat> All right, so I just found the special tool, big half inch, but I needed to be thin enough to be able to fit inside of here because all of the other ones that I try to use were way too thick and just did not want to fit. It made it a real pain in the butt, but oh well. I mean, sometimes we got to deal with these difficult tasks. All right, so I just got these two nuts off and all you need to do is slide it out of where it's hanging on with these hangers. Once you get that, you can just slip it out as easy as that. And y'all can see right here, I pretty much have a lot of buildup of like the combustion. So I'm gonna be getting all of that off with some all-purpose cleaner. And after I get it cleaned up, we're gonna be dipping the exhaust wrap inside of water because that's what you want to do so that all the fiberglass on it doesn't get all over your hands and doesn't fly all over the place so yeah let's get to it all right so just got all this cleaned up now what we're gonna want to do is get the heat wrap out some of the tools that you're gonna be wanting are some wire cutters and some regular um what what do you call these clippers whatever you want to call them you're gonna need some of those and then you're also gonna need some gloves because this is gonna have a lot of fiberglass inside of it and once you actually wet it with water it should be able to help out with the fiberglass not going all over the place but yeah you're still gonna want to be careful with it because it could get on your hands in your face and yeah you basically want to keep it away from your skin and just to be extra cautious i'm gonna do double gloves even though it's crazy hot out here i'm gonna i'd rather have the extra protection than not have it at all <laughs> if you know what i mean all right we're gonna let that soak in water for a little bit and we'll get back to it once it gets nice and damp all right so now that we've left it in water for a little bit we're gonna want to get started with wrapping this up onto the exhaust we're going to be using these metal zip ties to tie up the very first part of the heat wrap shield and where we're going to be wanting to start off is basically right here where i saw that the other exhaust piece pretty much overlapped onto this piece we're going to want to start it just a slight bit over like just a slight bit on the other side of it so that it doesn't pretty much stay on the inside of it and won't pretty much close correctly oh and before i actually get started what y'all want to do first is at the very beginning of the heat wrap y'all want to pretty much fold that down and leave it on the inside of where you're going to start the heat wrap so that it doesn't pretty much stay all flapping around and y'all don't have any extra heat wrap just laying around right there And then the process of y'all doing the heat wrap, y'all basically want to be going like a fourth 
of, of, of an overlap every single time y'all do a turn. Because if y'all don't do that, y'all are going to start seeing bulges all around the, the exhaust system. And it is just not going to look pleasant. But once you get the very first part, you're going to want to get the metal zip tie and put it on the inside part which would be let me see let me see oh, oh no i think i already put the first one wrong are you kidding with me see and this is why y'all watch other people do it so that y'all do not do the same mistake and obviously i watched someone else do it and i still committed the mistake y'all are going to want to get this first clamp as tight as possible. Now that we got that first clamp, like I said, y'all are going to want to make sure that this is overlapping about a fourth of an inch so that it doesn't have any of those big ugly bulges all around the exhaust shield or heat wrap. I don't know what y'all want to call it, exhaust shield, heat wrap, whatever it is that y'all want to call it. Cool, but your hands get kind of tired as you're trying to tighten all of this and have it lined up as good as you want it to be. And it needs to be tight. see right here it's kind of starting a bulge make sure that you always keep that bulge on like the inside part where you won't ever see it or at least in the bottom portion so that all those wrinkles can pretty much be out of view Once y'all get to the very end, make sure y'all get yourselves another one of these metal zip ties. They're kind of a to work with too, but I mean, it is what you gotta use so that they won't burn off like a regular old zip tie. And then the last inch, y'all are gonna wanna fold it towards the inside so that all of these ugly, what's it called, don't pretty much stay out and poking you whenever you're riding. Oh Lord. I did not think it would be this difficult to put it on, but I mean, we're here, we're doing it. All right, so, whenever you put it on, make sure that these zip ties, after you cut it, it pretty much stays with this little part towards the inside so that the little metal wire isn't rubbing along your leg so basically with my quad it would probably be around right there like i said in the beginning you're gonna want to hold these towards the inside so that it pretty much doesn't leave the what do you call it the sharp part towards you 
God, if it even wants to bend, golly. What I would recommend y'all to do is getting some regular black zip ties or any color zip ties, just some regular plastic zip ties, just so that you could get this installed first because like I said, these metal ones are a bit of a pain in the butt. And if you can't get it on by yourself, you're really gonna be struggling. All right, so for my first job, I wouldn't think it's that bad. Like, I mean, I see a little areas where I went a little more than a fourth of an inch, but I don't think that's too bad. But yeah, there's no like extra gaps where I can see some of the exhaust actually showing in the middle of that. And all this right here, it's not really too necessary. And right here, like I said, it's pretty much where the other part of the exhaust slips on. So I wouldn't want to really put it right there. But yeah, that's pretty much me installing this part of the heat wrap. And right now we're going to slap it onto the four-wheeler again. And we're going to see how it works. And if y'all want, so y'all could put the nuts on a little easier. Be sure y'all spray a little bit of WD-40 on here. So that it pretty much isn't that hard to put on and for the next time it can come off a little bit easier hopefully all right so here's gonna be the first startup after I put on the heat wrap and we're gonna let it pretty much let out all the little chemicals that it has Justice on how loud it actually is, but it surprised me the first time that I got this exhaust system. It was crazy, crazy loud. So, yeah, right now we're pretty much just gonna let it steam off. Look, check it out. Right now it's steaming a little bit. Alright, but yeah, all that steaming is perfectly normal. It's pretty much all the water that I use to pretty much soak up all the heat wrap so that all the fiberglass wouldn't get all over the place. It's the water and the chemicals that are inside of the heat wrap. Whenever they're actually making it, they use like this special glue that it's supposed to burn off whenever you start it up for the very first time. But yeah, that's perfectly normal. So if y'all ever do put on a heat wrap, expect it to smoke a little bit. It's not going to burn up or anything. It's just something normal that it does just releasing all those chemicals and yeah that's pretty much everything that I'm gonna be I'm gonna be giving with this tutorial of me putting on a heat wrap on an exhaust system and I hope that y'all learned a little bit uh, some of the stuff that y'all should and shouldn't do because as y'all can see I was struggling a little bit but it was my first time putting in my first putting this heat wrap so yeah hopefully y'all like the content that I brought out for y'all like and subscribe comment down below what y'all want to see next with this four-wheeler and I'll see y'all in another video